um, something that caught me by surprise, which is a recent poll conducted of the Breaking Points audience by uh, Crystal and Sagar. Uh, this came as a big shock to me as someone that generally is a big fan of Breaking Points programming commentary, especially Crystal Ball. You know, obviously I disagree significantly more with Sagar and Jetty, as you might expect, but I still find him to be a, a, an honest guy coming from a good place. And, you know, I do appreciate hearing out different perspectives on issues, even ones that I disagree with. I think it overall leads to a, a richer uh, understanding of the world and a, you know, better ability to, 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 um, you know, combat and, and uh, argue with people that have disagreements with me, you know, debate, et cetera. Um, but one thing that I've always appreciated about Breaking Points and about both Crystal and Sagar is they seemingly have a very strong anti-war stance. You know, it's it's one of the uh, big things that they've both pointed out as, as being a big problem with each of their respective parties. You know, Sagar saying, well, you know, the Republicans should not be the party of war. We shouldn't be, um, you know, spending all this money abroad when there's so many issues here at home. And, and same with Crystal. You know, she'll say it's crazy that the Democratic Party has waded into these waters of also being a pro-war pro -war party and totally a disservice to the left. And, you know, it's it's one of the main themes of their show. They talk about it constantly. And again, it's one of the reasons why their show is refreshing, because it's not something you hear on mainstream media. Um, it's not something you hear people talking about uh, in mainstream media spaces. So it's really refreshing that they feel that way. Uh, but some people have pointed out that Sagar in particular uh, does a lot of China segments. And, you know, obviously, if you guys watch the Vanguard, you know, we're not like simps for the uh, Communist Party of China. We're not here telling you that it's a communist utopia over there and that everyone has uh, equal rights. And, you know, there's obviously issues going on there with free speech and, and with many other things. And, you know, that, that's every country, sure. But some people really like to whitewash it and pretend that everything's fine over there. And, you know, because they're nominally socialist, that uh, it's a it's a paradise and a utopia for workers and all this horseshit. That's obviously not true. But that being said, you know, I do think it's, it's valid to point out that, yeah, maybe one too many uh, China segments a week coming from the likes of Sagar and Jetta, or Sagar and Jetta, you know, kind of fear mongering about China constantly, you know, bringing it up and, you know, isn't this terrible what China's doing? Isn't this horrible what China's doing? It's like, yeah, dude, I, I you know, I, I might even agree with you on most of these issues, but uh, it's still kind of serving to, you know, increase the public sentiment against China, uh, which therefore is only going to help manufacture consent for uh, what seems at this point to be an inevitable military conflict with China. Uh, and of course, this has all led to something that I didn't quite expect, but was shocked to see. And that's a poll they conducted on, on their YouTube audience. And they'll do these every once in a while, you know, probably on the weekly basis, asking their audience a question via a poll and, and seeing where they stand. And this particular question was, if China were to invade Taiwan, would you support the United States coming to Taiwan's defense? Uh, let's take a look at the results of this poll. I obviously answered no, we should not come to Taiwan's defense in this circumstance. But 57% of Breaking Point's audience is in support of United States coming to Taiwan's defense, 18% being unsure. And just so you guys aren't really, just in case you guys aren't familiar with what the implications of us coming to Taiwan's defense would be, it's essentially World War Three. So essentially 57% of Breaking Point's audience is in favor of World War Three happening. And 18% is unsure if they're, you know, in support of World War Three happening with only 25% saying, yeah, no, I'm probably good on World War fucking three. Inevitable nuclear annihilation of the entire human species. Yeah, probably not a good idea. Um, and, you know, in theory, uh, yeah, obviously there's a point of countries having allyships with each other and coming to the defense of another country, et cetera, et cetera. I get that in principle. Um, but when the stakes are this high, no, I'm sorry. Taiwan is not worth it. Like, it's just not. Nothing is, frankly. Nothing is worth it. Um, to get in a military conflict with China, the other global superpower, which is also nuclearly armed, um, this is an absolutely terrible idea that would most likely result in uh, the entire extinction of the human race. I, I'm not even putting that lightly, guys. Uh, so, yeah, I, I thought this was totally deranged, totally insane um, that 57 percent of their audience doesn't realize these implications or they do realize these implications and somehow think that this geopolitical conflict is worth putting the entire human race uh, in harm's way, it, it's sacrificing us to nuclear war. Yeah, this is burned into my brain ever since I saw this. And I actually just checked a second ago. And now 126,000 votes have been cast in this poll. Still 57%. Yes. 18% unsure. 25% no. 
Uh, so that's just really fucking crazy to me. And it was exactly what popped into my mind earlier when you were talking about how the American people have become more progressive, Gavin. It's like maybe in some senses, but we're still jingoists at heart, man. There's not a war we don't want to get into. I mean, it blows my fucking mind that it has, this has to be said because you're right. Uh, I've never heard Crystal Ball do a pro-war segment in her entire fucking history on rising or uh, breaking points, right? And uh, fuck, I don't always watch Sagar's points. I don't think I thought he was also on the fucking, you know, uh, anti-war train as well. Uh, I, you know, I thought that was whole the whole like new left and new right. Like we were both like, hey, let's not fucking, you know, world build and do all this kind of shit. And uh, of course, like, you know, I support self-sovereignty for all people everywhere. Like, you know, hey, man, you guys figure it out. But I also don't support my own fucking government sticking its nose in there uh, in doing that shit with a 10, 100,000 miles away, however fuck the far away Taiwan is. Like, I'm sorry, that man, that's just not our fucking business. Like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I, I don't like we don't ha like vigilante justice isn't good. Like, that's not fucking how the world works. Like, you know, at that, what stops us from just going around and extrajudicially killing people everywhere? Um we have i mean we do that right we have to stop that i thought we were all on the same page about that uh, and then gavin's right there's no way to do that without starting world war three so this is completely fucking bonkers it's insane if i i i am i don't want to speak for uh crystal and Sagar, but i bet both of them i were at least mildly terrified by this uh because it shows that even in the new media audience everybody's still a rabid jingo fucking crazy person uh, what does anybody think you, we put ground troops in taiwan china's not going to retaliate china retaliates uh, who, how long you know what i'm saying guys there's a reason we fought a cold war with fucking russia it's because not even then uh back in the 1950s whenever i mean I, I don't know if we were all still dumb as rocks but we, we even then we knew not to fucking um you go to nuclear war with russia like why we would do that in china in 2021 like the, i don't i don't fucking know i don't fucking know it's bad news it's, it's fucking, yeah. you're a crazy person if you think that's a good idea yeah totally and i, I honestly hope it makes crystal and Sagar, at least Sagar, reconsider the way he talks about some of this stuff because again even if i agree that like yeah china has a lot of fucked up shit going on there they're you know human rights aren't probably great in china for a lot of people uh freedom of speech isn't really a thing in china you can't even like fucking play video games for you know unless it's like friday night or, or whatever that ridiculous ruling was you know lots of things like that it also annoys me how you know hollywood movies are, are increasingly just being made for the chinese market like i get it it's it is a problem it's not like i'm just sitting here and denying that uh there's anything wrong with china or uh that they're not you know increasingly uh problematic and, and all that stuff you know there is issues i'm not saying there's not um but we need to make sure as media to not be accidentally manufacturing consent for uh you know massive military conflict that yeah would was likely result in world war three and if that means not doing a, an anti-china segment every goddamn week then maybe that's something we should sacrifice for the sake of not being useful idiots for the military industrial complex which is just chomping at the fucking bit to go to war with china and, and as is china with us um why do you think we're escalating to this point? Why do you think you constantly hear about it now? It's because uh, they would love nothing more than to have this conflict. Um, so yeah, I, I would just say a note to breaking points is make sure you're not accidentally manufacturing consent for a war, wars which you pretend to have a principled stand against. So pretty simple. Um, but yeah, it needs to be said, I think. Yeah, that was, I just, I still can't believe that, you know? And I mean, maybe we should pull our own fucking audience and, and just throw up something like that and be like, is our audience like fucking crazy people too? You're fucking crazy if you think that we should go to war with China. I'll tell that to every last one of you listening. Uh, you're on drugs uh, and not the good kind.